sign me up for affordable skincare, Sally. Hi you guys, welcome back to The Clean Beauty Code. I am so excited for this video because we're doing a favorites video. We are talking about my August Clean Beauty favorites and I didn't do one in July because I was sick and on my deathbed. So we're back at it. We're back at doing favorites and we have some good stuff. And I have a, shot, a, a category that has shockingly a lot of products and it's not the category you would think. Anyways, actually leave a comment down below what your guess will be. What category has way too many products and it's not the usual category that has too many products. I know it's crazy. Um, anyways, I just wanna jump into this video and get started. So if you're excited for this video and more videos like this, then please like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into my August clean beauty favorites. All right, favorites, let's get into it, you guys. First, we're talking nails. Um, I love doing my own nails. It could be a gel polish. It could be a regular, it could be stick-ons. I just prefer doing it. I don't know why, I know I'm weird. And I've been loving these polishes this month. So first from Olive and June, these two shades here, this one's on my toes. It's just so good. This is a shade CV and it's just the most beautiful bright red color. I just love it. And I know red is gonna be kind of everywhere in fall, especially in like clothing and accessories and stuff like that. It's just so good. And this is a good way to be adding a little red nail in fall, winter. So good, it's a great way to add the red of the, the kind of pop of color that people are saying is gonna be of the season. That is a good way to add it. And then this one, which I love, it's a really good like neutral nude shade, but it isn't too fleshy, which I hate that I just used that word, but it's the only way I can describe it. This is the shade CDJ, so good, I love it. The next, I mean, I have to, it wouldn't be an Olive in June talk if we didn't talk top coat. I actually, before I filmed this video, I went into my, um, nail polish drawer and I counted how many of these I have. I have four of these right now. And I'll probably add more. They're just so good. It's such a glossy, such a good, quick drying polish. Olive and June polishes dry really, really quickly. They have beautiful shine and great hold. I don't know, I'm a huge fan. So the next, okay. I just love Dazzle Dry. We're talking Dazzle Dry. And this shade, I know this was a, every, this is the shade I talked about the most last fall, winter, and she's back, okay? I couldn't resist putting a really, really dark polish on my nails the second I felt a breeze of fall coming. And this is the shade Zest, and it's just so gorgeous. It's just so gorge. I am obsessed with this. It's such a good shade. I love, I mean, you know how I feel about Dazzle Dry and Olive in June, top tier, like just so good. Let's move on to the next product. This is a product I've talked about a thousand times on this channel um, and is in a lot of favorites, but is mostly featured in fall winter time because my lips be happen off my face. And this is from the brand Fresh. This is their Sugar um, Advanced Therapy Smoothing Lip Primer. It's so good. It is basically an exfoliator for your lips. It's a liquid exfoliator and it has this little dropper. Just take a little bit, put it on your finger, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit goes a long way. And then you just kind of massage it in and it literally <laughs> changes how crusty and dusty my lips are. And they're always crust in and they're always dust in. So this is the best and I've been grabbing it a ton again because it's getting a slightly cooler out and I'm trying to be proactive with how chapped my lips get, but was just chapping over here and you know what i have to accept it so then next next we're talking brows and we're talking my favorite brow combo we're doing the rose ink we're not doing well i did i did my brows with this today. but we're talking rose ink clear brow gel so good i love the brush it's just great hold but it doesn't look too jelly and it's, it has like more of a pomade finish it's just so good and then the westman atelier brow pencil and I have talked about this every month, and I think at this point, since I've gotten it, every month since I've gotten it, and at this point, I've had it for 14 months, I believe, and this is how much I have left in this one. Barely any. This will be out, like, in maybe the next week, and I have a backup because I can't run out of this one. It's so good. The hold, the hold, the way that it's, like, it just lasts all day, the way it sits, on your brows is really nice. It looks really natural. It's just so good. I know the um, slanted 
tip might not be for everyone, but for me, it's amazing and I'm a big fan. Okay, next. So I have combo skin, which means I, I just hear oil slick constantly for no reason. It's like, calm down. Why are you so greasy? And this product is great. So this is the Nude Sticks, what is it? Blot and Blur Matte Stick. I love this. I have a backup of this as well. This is so good. So what you do with this, I know I've talked about this before, so you're probably over it, but what you do with this is you apply it to your face or I've used my finger to apply it. Apply it to your face where you want to kind of oil control and kind of push it in. I mean, I don't like rub it, rub it around, but I kind of just push it in to the skin and make sure it kind of gets into my pores. And that sounds scary, but I swear it's not. And it really controls my oil all day. And this is one for like events. If you have a long day and you just know, like ugh, you just need something, this is great. I wear it with makeup, without makeup, really, really good. Okay, next, concealer. Now this month I haven't been grabbing concealer that, that much which is, well, I have been grabbing concealer. I have been testing some concealers. So I've been grabbing as much concealer in my everyday life, but when I have been, it has been the Say Beauty one, and this is in the shade three, I believe. Yeah, three, this is great. I also have the shade four, but four is for when I'm a little, I don't want quite as much brightening under my eye, but this is great. Um, I just take it, do like, two, three dabs, blend it in with my finger. I find this product works best when you blend it with your finger. There's something about the warmth of your body, <laughs> I hate that description, but the warmth of your body that melts it into the skin so, so nice. I find when I don't always use my finger, I'm not loving the end result, but also I'm not loving the way it wears throughout the day. So this is great, love it. Okay, next, blush. So I have been back on my Victoria Beckham Beauty blush um, a ton this month, and this is just so good. This is the shade Playground, and it is just the most beautiful shade. It's so, such a good everyday natural flush shade for me. So if you're my complexion and you're looking for something that gives you a nice everyday flush, but also that isn't dewy, because this is more of a natural finish, this is for you. This is so good. The Victoria Beckham Beauty blushes are so freaking expensive and I totally get it, but the, their shades are so unique to them and I honestly feel like you can't really find them that easily elsewhere. They're really, really good and the longevity is there. I'm a big fan of these. All right, next, I'm grabbing this a ton again. So this is the Merit Beauty um, blush. This is their old um, packaging. I actually have a backup of this one just cause I feel like I run out of this relatively quickly or not relatively quickly, but I just like to have backups of this cause it's a good everyday blush. And this is the shade Beverly Hills and it is just so pretty. It's like a, a really pretty peachy pink um, and it sits on the cheek really nicely. And it just gives me a really nice natural flush. I'm a really big fan of these blushes, but I will say out of all the blushes I'm gonna be talking about today, the longevity is not here as much as it is with the rest of them. So that's just something to know, but this is a really nice blush and I really, really like it. Okay, next. Next, this is one I've also been grabbing a ton this month and this is from Coolfee. This is their blush in the shade um, Sandalwood Swirls, I believe. Yeah, Sandalwood Swirls, so, so good. I like to take a little bit back of my hand. I'm actually wearing it on my cheeks today and Take a brush, dip it in and apply it. And it, they're really pigmented, but they have this very pretty finish where they have almost like the same somewhat finish of the Victoria Beckham Beauty where it's more natural. So you don't have to worry about it getting too dewy, but it does have a flush and like a little bit of dew to it. I don't know. It's so, so good. I love this blush. And I also have this shade Pinky Promise, I believe is the name of the other one. It's like more of a bright pink, so, so, so beautiful. This shade specifically will be really, really good for me going into fall. Okay, next. I know I said, I, this This shockingly is not that many blushes for me because I like to rotate, um, but also like there's another category that I have way more. So next, this blush specifically from Ami Colet, and this is in the shade Dune. And this is kind of in the same vein of Sandalwood Swirls where it's a really good natural everyday blush, but it isn't too pink to anything. It just gives like such a nice flush to the cheeks and these are nice and pigmented. I really like the Amicole blushes. I am a very, very big fan of this and it has a little bit more dew to it, but it's not super, super dewy where I feel like my cheeks look wet. 
Do you know what I mean? Sometimes blushes can be so dewy that after a little bit, you're kind of like, okay, looking a little damp on the cheeks. This doesn't do that. I really like this. Next, we have powder blushes. Now, this is one that I feel like no one's going to be surprised by. Can I open this? Jeez. This is from Bare Minerals, and this is their Gen Nude um, Blush Bronzer Duo thingy, and this is the shade Kiss of Pink. I also have the shade Kiss of Copper and Kiss of Rose. Kiss of Rose is gonna be like throwing it in my bag all fall and winter, but this is so good. I love this. This is such a good everyday pink blush shade, and the formula is really, really nice where it's not, it's not so pigmented where, because with powder blush, if you put it on top of like a foundation or whatever, sometimes, you have to look really buff it out if you apply too much. This one, you don't have to worry about that, but it has a lot of pigment and it has such an ethereal cheek look. If you like, I've said this a thousand times, but if you like the hourglass like blushes, these are definitely worth checking out. They're really nice, huge fan. Okay, so the next, another powder blush. This one from House Labs, um, this is the shade Pomelo Peach. This is such a pretty shade. And this is so, this specific shade, I love to wear when I have like no mascara on. Well, I also like to wear it with like makeup, but this is my go-to for when it's just like a bare face, a little bit of concealer. I've curled my lashes, but maybe no mascara. Maybe I put a little bit of Aquaphor or whatever um, on my lashes and then I, they're curled and I'm just wearing this and I just feel so put together, but also so like youthful, vibrant. I don't know, I love these blushes. The formula of their powder blushes from House Labs is just elite. I also have another shade. I feel like it's maybe Hibiscus. Hibiscus Haze might be the name, um, but really, really good. I love them. Okay, next we have powder, so boring, but this is from Mikole. It's in their translucent shade. Um, I am looking to start testing a few other powders. So we'll see if it's better than this, but I highly doubt that. But these are really, really good. I love the Amicole powders. They're just elite. Next, highlight. So I don't always wear highlight, but when I do, or ha have this path past month, but in general, when I do, I grab this one from Minori. This is their champagne shade. I love this. It is just such a good formula. I'm actually wearing it on the high points of my cheeks today. Just so good, just so good. You literally cannot go wrong with these. Get it, so good. They also have a um, more, this is a champagne shade. They have more of a gold shade. They're just gorgeous. I really, really like them. And I do hope they come out with some more shades. So good. Okay, next. Next, the biggest category in the history of the universe of my channel, I feel like, is lips, okay? First, these from Fawn Beauty, these are their lip oils and I have two shades. So this is like just their original shade, this pinky tone. And then Witch's Brew, which is such a pretty shade. It has like, it. There, although this shade looks pigmented, it has like a flush of color, which I really like. These are super, super hydrating. I'm a really big fan of Fawn Beauty. Um, and if you don't know, Katie Fawn, who is on YouTube, that is her brand. And this is just so, Good. I love these. They're so hydrating. And again, I have the crusty dusties lips. So these these are great because they like smooth over when my lips are super dry and it doesn't feel like they're sometimes lip oils just sit on your lips. These do something for me. I really, really enjoy these. All right, next. We're sticking kind of on theme with lip like lip oils, lip balms. Rome Beauty liquid lip balms. So freaking good. I have two shades here. One is the shade Remy, which is when I want a more beige nude shade. And I usually wear it on top of a brown lip liner, which I always wear a brown lip liner. And then this shade here, which is the shade Charlie, which is, this is my most repurchased shade. I, I This is my third of this one, third or fourth of this one. So, so good, super hydrating, I love. And in fall, I got this more berry tone. And then I also have the shade Jude, which is just gorgeous. But I got this more berry tone I'm excited and I'm already in my fall vibes, right? I'm always wearing sweaters on camera anyways because I love sweaters, but nails. So now it's time for my fall lip colors, which I'm really excited about, but these are great, huge fan. Okay, so then next, next we are talking, what's on my lips right now? Actually, which is from Jones Road Beauty and this is their tinted lip balm. Um, and this is just so gorge, I love this. And this is in the shade, I think it's Nude Rose. 
killed it, yes. Nude Rose, it's so pretty. It has like, it's just so good and it's so hydrating and it just looks so nice without being too shiny and balmy. I'm a really big fan. And then these, okay, I love these. These are from Kosas and they are, the, this is their new lipstick. And what is the name of this lipstick actually? I'm not sure the name of this specific lipstick, but I have two shades. This is the shade 100 Degrees, which is a more neutrally, like beigey nude color, which is, okay, if my camera could focus, that would be great. Hello, there we go. It's just so beautiful, I love it. It's, it's my everyday kind of grab. I have this one in my purse. And then also this shade here, which is Tropic Bliss, which is a little bit more of a pink tone, but it's really, really pretty. And they're so hydrating and they're really comfortable and their pigmentation isn't so much that you're like, <laughs> okay, calm down. And I have this product here from Ritual de Fee. I did a review of this recently and this is just the best. So this is their, what is it called? Their cream lip oil, which is beautiful. And this shade is gorgeous. Okay, I just keep piling lip products on, but at least they're hydrating lip products. It's just such a pretty shade. And this lip oil is slightly, slightly less hydrating than the Rowan one, but I love this. Look how pretty it is. This shade specifically is Rose Crush. I love this product. I grab it all the time. And this is a nice one to have in your bag. Shades like this and shades like this one from Rowan Beauty, the shade Charlie, they're just so good for throwing on, having a little bit of color on your lips without it being too much or too pink or too anything. It feels very natural, at least for my lips and my complexion and my the natural color of my lips, which tends to be a little bit more on the pinky side. These are a great, I'm a big fan. And then lastly, we're almost done with lips, lip liners. I love these. Victoria Beckham Beauty, we have 05 and 04. 04 is my most grabbed, the one that I always have a backup of, just so good, the most pretty pinky color. And then I have also 05, which is the most beautiful brown tone. I just love these lip liners. Can you see? Oh, it's just so good. So we have on this side, we have 05 and then we have 04. They're just gorgeous. I love them. You honestly can't go wrong. Next, we're moving on to eyes. This mascara, so good. No one shot by this. Jones Road Beauty Mascara. I'm obsessed with this. Um, this is a new tube. This is my like fourth. <laughs> I love this mascara. It's so freaking good. And it just gives me, I mean, I feel like my lashes look so good right now. They just gives me the most beautiful lash without it, I'm looking in a mirror, without it being too, fluffy or too clumpy. It's like the perfect lash look. And when I wear this, I get a lot of compliments. Highly recommend. Then we have a couple of eyeshadows. One, this eyeshadow palette. I haven't been wearing a lot of eyeshadow, I have to be honest this month, but when I have been, I've been grabbing this product specifically from Rowan Beauty, the Gold Lust palette. I love this palette. It's just so gorgeous. Rowan eyeshadows are just I love Rowan eyeshadows. They are just so beautiful, but they're also, they have longevity. They, the pigmentation is there. They just do everything you want an eyeshadow to do. Really, really good. And lastly for eyeshadows, I've been obsessed with this eyeshadow. This is from Jones Road Beauty and this is their, this is like a single eyeshadow and this is in the shade brown or is it brown? dark brown and it is just so good. And this is one that I love to line my lashes with. And there's like no fallout from this, which is wild. So for a dark eyeshadow, that is just like almost unheard of to not have fall down, especially when I just line just my um, lashes. It just, it's just so good. I'm such a big fan. Next we have the LYS Beauty Setting Spray. Now this is a newer product, but I haven't been using setting sprays that much this month, but when I have been using them, and especially since I got this in and I've been testing it out, this is so good. I have a whole video that I feel like probably came out right before this video or two videos ago. I'm not really sure, but this, this is so good. And I did a side-by-side -side comparison of this one and the Urban Decay setting spray and the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. And like the hold on this, is just as impressive and that's wild because 
most brands, it doesn't matter if it's conventional or clean, haven't really figured out how to create the longevity and hold that the Urban Decay setting spray has specifically. Just it's been around longer, but this is just so good. I'm a huge fan. So the next we're talking tools. First, we're talking this. This is the Shiseido eyelash curler. I love this eyelash curler. I will say it took me a while to find an, a curler that I liked. I feel like I tried so many that didn't work for me. And I know this is like, in terms of eyelash curlers, somewhat expensive. This is $23, but it's really, really good. And you get an extra like, see the thing, the black thing in there that like you push down on. It comes with an extra one of those. I don't know, it's really, really good. And if you're struggling with your eye shape maybe, with eyelash curlers, this is definitely one to check out. I really, really enjoy it. So the next we have brushes. So first brush that I've been loving this month is the It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Number no. Seven. We've talked about this a thousand times. This is a really, really good brush, and it just makes your makeup. If you are using a brush, a lot of the time I use my fingers, but when I use a brush, it just makes your makeup look so good. I love this. Next we have a powder brush or a setting brush. Um, what is this? Is from Amicole, and this is called the powder brush, and I love this. It's so good for under the eyes. There's nothing on this. I don't know what I'm doing. And like just really setting the areas that you want set, but you don't want a really big, or maybe you want, but I like to have a smaller brush. This is really, really good. I love the bristles. I haven't had any hairs fall out or anything. I really, really enjoy this brush. It's just so dang good. Highly recommend this brush. So then next, I have one that's way too expensive, but like is literally my life and this is from hourglass and this is their dual ended powder br brush i believe is the name and i really really like this i specifically like this side i mean i like both of them but this side is just so good for when i want bronzer but i don't want it to be fluffed all over my face because i have a small face i don't know if anyone can tell i have a, a small head and so brushes like this for bronzer is so good this is also so good for setting your face with powder putting powder everywhere i don't know i'm obsessed with this brush and it is so expensive, I know, but if you've been like on like on the edge and you're like, should I get it, should I not? Hourglass brushes are so good, but specifically this one is incredible. It's just so, so good. I definitely feel like this one is worth the money and I have so many powder brushes and these, this is the one I grab the most, highly recommend. Okay, next, this one. This one I talk about all the time. This is the Sephora 93 brush. I like this a lot and this is so good for this is the one I use for my cream blush. And this is, I, this is the brush I've gotten the most questions on. It's just so freaking good. There's nothing on this either. I don't know what I'm doing with my life, but it's so good and it just, I don't know, I love it. So then next we're just moving on to skincare really quick. And then we are done and we only have a few products because I don't know, I just haven't been, I've been grabbing stuff a lot, but these are kind of my most loved products this month so first is the caudalie um i think it's called grape water yes grape water so so good i love to spray my face with this before i go on with other products it just like makes having your face be damp before you put on other products unless it's retinol don't do that but if it's something else this just is the best it like it helps other products sink into your skin a lot more i don't know i'm a really big fan of this and it doesn't have like a smell it's like a nice mist. I don't feel like I'm drenching my face. I feel like it gives me the perfect mist. I don't know, I'm a big fan. Next, these specific serums from Good Molecules, I've been loving. I've been loving them actually for a couple months now. My husband also really likes these, um, but I haven't wanted to recommend them until I was basically done with the bottles. So I have this, their hyaluronic acid, so, so good. I already have a backup coming in because I'm basically done with this. I'm obsessed with this. It's just so good. It has a nice tack to it, but not weird sticky tack. I don't know how to explain it. It's like a, a slight stickiness. It's so nice and it doesn't pill on me, which is great. I have a lot of issues with like certain products pilling on me, especially if I use sunscreen. Sometimes sunscreen just makes stuff pill more and this does not pill with my sunscreens, which I really enjoy. And then on top of that, I like their super, um, 
peptide serum. This is my second one of these and it's just so good. Um, I really, really enjoy this. And I actually, wait, I also have a backup of this. This is my second one of these and I have a backup of this because this is just so, so good. And at the time when I was buying it initially, I was like, why is everything sold out? Because everyone loves good molecules and everything is so affordable. I believe this one was $6 and this one was 12. Sign me up for affordable skincare, Sally. So good, really, really big fan. So then next, I have this, which I also have a backup of. <laughs> the Caudalie, um, this is their Viner, Vinergetic C Plus Serum, but this is their detox oil, but they just renamed it and it's different packaging, but it's so freaking good. And I, because I was sick, was I literally was bedridden, you guys. I was sick, I had vertigo. If you don't know, I was sick for a month with vertigo, which, wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. It is truly horrific. Oh my God, my dog's hair, she just moved and my dog's hair is floating around the entire home. But anyways, I digress, this is so good. Um, I have like a very little bit amount left in this. I don't know if you can tell cause there's only this, but it's so freaking good. Again, I have backups of this. This is my most repurchased and most used skincare product by far and this for me because i was sick i feel like i started telling a story and then i didn't finish it i was sick and i was sick for a month deathbed like the worst and my skin got really bad because with vertigo i couldn't really wash my face properly or really be good at like just proper care of my skin and this because i was getting little bumpies because of that oh my gosh if i have one more hair touch my face and float around. You know when you have phantom hairs? Girl. But this like helped with the under the skin bumpies I was getting from not being able to take care of my skin as much. So freaking good, I love this. And it isn't necessarily one I wear, use every single day or every night, but I, when I'm feeling like my skin needs it or my skin is having a bumpy breakouts, whatever, this truly is a game changer for me. And this month, I've been, <laughs> this past month, I needed this. So good, love it. And yeah, that's it. That's it for my August clean beauty favorites. I would love to know what were your favorites this month. Let me know down below. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.